How's it going everybody? Just like the last keyboard lighting video, this video I also let you guys vote on what the design was going to be. And I have to say, I'm a little bit shocked at what you guys chose to vote for. It is the middle of August, 90 degree weather outside, and you guys chose snow. Probably not what I would have chosen, but what the people want, the people get. With this keyboard lighting design, I've decided to make a snow scene that is very customizable and it can also get very personalized to whatever your setup is. There are multiple options as far as colors. You can make your snow white, blue, rainbow colored, and even yellow. And there's also multiple options as far as speeds go. And I've also included some fun things like audio meter as well as a snowstorm on key press. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you guys see upcoming keyboard lighting videos. I hope you guys like this design. This is Snow. All right, guys, here we go with the snow design. And what we're going to make first is the snow color. So what the snowfall is actually going to be colored. If you want your snow to just be plain white, go ahead and use a static layer. Choose all your keys and just throw on a white color on those keys. Hit save and call it a day. If you want multiple color backgrounds, you can make this any color you want. You can even use waves. So if you add a wave layer, you can even make your snowfall rainbow colored. And by doing that, all you do is make a wave, select your keys, and just go with a wave background. This will make all of your snowfall rainbow colored. After you have created all of your colored backgrounds, whatever it is you want, be sure to rename your layers as to what color that is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder and I'm gonna name this folder snow colors. Once you've done that, just drag in your colors into this snow folder. And now you can see you got a nice little drop down that has all of your colors listed in here. You're gonna wanna hide every color except the one that you wanna use. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this layer for now and we'll get back to that in just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna make the ground part of this design just a, a white section that lays across the bottom of your keyboard. And for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna click on the static effect layer. It's gonna add a new static layer here. And I'm just gonna hold control and I'm just gonna start selecting some areas on the keyboard here that's gonna represent my ground. Once I have that ground selected, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a white color and I'm gonna hit save. Now we're gonna add an optional audio meter to this design. So go ahead and add a new audio meter layer. Now we're gonna select all of the keys that are not currently white on our keyboard. So go ahead and click and drag over the area. Hold control to deselect your white keys here. Once you have these keys selected, just like with your background, we're gonna color this whatever color we want our snow to be. For this purpose, I am just gonna choose white with audio meter, I always choose auto on here and I always turn the decay down. That's just the settings I like. You guys can play around with it and choose whatever you want. Click on your color drop down, and we're gonna go with a two-tone pattern right here, this green one on the far right. If you don't have experience with audio meter, then what you need to know about this color pattern here is that on the left side, this is the color you're gonna see when the volumes are at low levels and the colors on the right side of your gradient. This is what you're gonna see when the volumes are at high levels. So I'm just gonna make a white colored background or snowfall. So what I'm gonna do with my left node is I'm going to make this one invisible with this button here. On the right side of this meter, I'm going to make it white. What this is gonna do is it's going to light up the keys with bright colors as the audio increases. It's just gonna keep on ranging in and out. That is all you have to do for the audio meter layer. If you want multiple colors, you can go ahead and duplicate this layer and just change that node on the far right to whatever color it is that you want. And then you can throw all of those into a folder and name it audio meter colors. For the time being, I'm going to hide this audio meter layer but if you want it visible and you want to use it on your keyboard, 
make sure that you have this unhidden. Next, we're gonna move on to the actual snowfall that you will get to see, and this is gonna start to bring the design together. To create the snowfall effect, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a wave layer, select all of your keys that do not have the white ground keys in them, and you're gonna make a three color pattern with two black on the outside and an invisible in the middle. And what this does is it allows you to see the background underneath whatever you made your snow color. The settings that I have for my snowfall is a four speed, 200% width, 180 angle down, and that is it. Now once we see in the preview that this is the kind of speed that our snowfall is going to have, what we're gonna do is click on our color pattern and we're gonna make this center node black. So now what you have is just three black nodes in your color pattern. Now you're gonna hold control and you're just gonna select lines of patterns that go down your keyboard just like this. Click on your color pattern, make that center node invisible. And for this line, we're gonna keep all of our settings the same and hit save. Now we're gonna hold control and select another line down your keys. Do the same thing, click on your color pattern, make that center node invisible, change your speed position maybe one, and maybe change your width to something a little bit different. That way you add some randomization in your design. And that's all you have to do to add a snowfall effect to this design. Just hold control and select different vertical lines on your keyboard that create that snow effect. You're gonna wanna change the values on your properties such as speed and width percentage. That way it starts to randomize and get different as the design goes on. So here in the preview, you can see that I've made several vertical lines that have random properties and they're randomly coming down at different speeds all over the keyboard. And all this is is an invisible dot that's going down your keyboard. And so it's going to reflect whatever background it is that you choose. Now I'm gonna show you how to make different speeds. So we're going to rename this layer that we just made to slow. And now we're going to duplicate this layer and rename this new layer to medium. Hide your previous layer and then go back to your medium. To increase the speed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across the top of our keyboard, double clicking and doubling our speed value for every vertical row that we have on our keyboard. So here I've changed the three to a six go to my next one, I can change that to an eight if I want, go to my next one, change that to a eight, go to my next one, that one's gonna stay eight, I'm gonna go to this one, make that a 10, go to my next one, make that one an eight, and you're just gonna keep doing that all the way across the keyboard until you double the value of every vertical row. Now you can see I've doubled my slow speed and the snowfall is starting to come down a lot faster. We're gonna do that once more and we're gonna rename this new layer to fast and we're once again going to double the medium speed for every vertical column. Now this is going to be our fast speed and you can see how quickly the snow is falling. That's all I'm gonna have for speed, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new folder, and I'm going to rename this folder to Snowfall Speed. Go ahead and drag your different speed effects into this folder, and that's all you have for your speeds. So now you can see I have white snowfall, and if I want rainbow snowfall, I can hide the white and just go into my rainbow. Now I have rainbow colored snowfall. Next, we're just gonna add a little cosmetic touch to our scene, and we're going to add trees. To add the trees, go ahead and make a new wave layer. We're gonna rename this layer to trees and we're gonna hold control and we're just going to make a few keys on our keyboard that represent stumps of a tree. So here, I'm just gonna select these right here. I'm gonna click on my color dropdown and I'm gonna choose a three color pattern. In the middle, I'm going to grab this chart and kind of find a brown color that I like. Uh, I'm gonna choose that and I'm going to drag this down until I get somewhat of a brown color. Double click on this color code, copy it, click on your outside nodes and you can paste this brown color in there. Once I pasted it, I'm gonna drag it down a little bit darker even and I'm gonna make my two outside color nodes the same color. So I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it on the right side. 
just like that. So I'm gonna have one lighter colored brown in the middle and my outside nodes are going to be dark brown. And I'm gonna change my speed to something around six. So now you can see the stump color for my trees slowly fades in and out of dark and light brown. I'm actually gonna copy this effect that I just made for that brown. And I'm gonna hold control and select out the tops of my trees just like this and I'm going to paste the brown that I did and I'm gonna click on my color drop down and I'm just gonna change this to a green type of color so I'm gonna make my middle green I'm gonna make this left node green and then I'm gonna drag it a little bit darker copy that color code and paste it into the other right node I have a wave style stump for the base of my tree as well as the greenery that is on my tree. Now all that's left to do is create a snowstorm on press. So to do this we're going to add a new wave layer and we're going to double click on this wave layer and rename it to snowstorm. All I'm going to do is select all of my upper rows just like this. Now for my color gradient. I'm going to do something similar that I did with the snowfall. So I'm going to choose a three tone color pattern. I'm going to make this middle one white and I'm going to drag this in and pinch that in a little bit. And with our speed, we're going to turn this up really high to something around 40. Angle and width can stay just as they are. Under playback, click on random and we're going to change this to on press. So now if you press any key, it will run that pattern. Okay, so I accidentally made a mistake and I made my outside nodes black, so it kind of gets rid of my whole scenery. So what we can do to fix this is double click on our affected keys, click on this color drop down, and we're gonna make these outside nodes invisible instead of black. Now when the storm comes on, you can see your background. Now just like we did with the snowfall, we're gonna go by each horizontal row change some of the property values so that you have a random snowstorm effect. So now I've changed all of my values for each row. So now when I click, you can see it adds like a random snowstorm effect into your keyboard lighting. That is how you make my snow chroma profile. That's all there is for this tutorial video guys. Make sure you guys support the channel by hitting that thumbs up button as well as hitting the subscribe and bell icon. That way you get a notification when I upload new videos. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as I always post teasers of upcoming keyboard lighting designs. And if you'd like to come and chat with me, I also stream on Twitch every once in a while. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash unreal hero underscore. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.